No one has ever seen this side of their lives. No one knows them like this. Arch your back! Relevé! Their profession was shrouded in secrecy. Until today. Stop! A UTV channel film crew received exclusive access to document the inner workings of a world-renowned Moscow ballet company headed by Natalia Kasatkina and Vladimir Vasilyev. Touring through Russia, Morocco, and Israel. Conflicts with the film crew. Now you're starting to piss us off. Workplace affairs and the envy of colleagues. Envy is a bad feeling, but the sincerest one. And all this is for real, without any scripts. Now I'm ready to dance devil. Yeah? Well, we're not. Right now. The only reality show that shows how high art comes to be. I'm having some problems with my partner. She makes me nervous. I don't feel comfortable working with her at all. He's all, nothing is working out. It's going to be a mess. What are you doing here? We need to talk, Chris. It came as a shock to me. I was completely at a loss. I didn't know what to say. But, unfortunately, a lot of things went wrong. Sometimes she wasn't careful enough, sometimes she missed a tiny detail. The fouette was a mess. It makes you want to say, to hell with this performance, and just quit. The preparations for the Moroccan tour are in full swing. We're rehearsing Don Quixote. It won't be our first time in Morocco. People there love me, remember me, and are hopefully looking forward to seeing me. All right, Coda. What's important about the tour in Morocco is that we have a long-term contract with them, and so we don't want to lose it or have it terminated. The play we're bringing is Don Quixote. We've chosen our best principles. I hope everything goes smoothly. Hey there, champ. Hi. How are you? Did you hear Galitsina's not going? She was kicked out. They saw the way she... performed. Yulia Galitsina is a risk, and we're trying to avoid all risks. So, in this situation, instead of Yulia going on tour, Katya is. All right then, see you tomorrow. Right. I'm happy it will be Yekaterina. She's my favorite partner. I think we're going to do great, because we have been working together for a long time. Yulia and I are still getting used to each other, since we started doing duos only recently. Now, go between his legs! Between your legs! Go! I'm really happy this year. I'm finally going to Morocco. I'm really, really excited about soaking in the atmosphere there. It'll be a great experience. I've been there once already. It has this beautiful, exotic, Arabic flavor to it, which is, of course, very different from what we're used to seeing in Moscow and Europe. Where should we start? With the variations? Let's do the third act. Okay. After the Moroccan tour, we'll be doing Swan Lake. Sergei told me that if I rehearse the part of the jester, I'll be the one doing it. I will have to rehearse for both Don Quixote and Swan Lake. If you do it through a jeté, like jeté, pum pum pum, pum pum pum, jeté, pum pum pum, pum, the jeté will take a whole circle. Yes, exactly. Well, we just thought we'd try something different. All right, wrap it up. Do the moves one more time and start rehearsing. Let's do the jeté then. In Don Quixote, I dance some supporting parts. I've had them for a while, so I don't just need to spend that much time on them. But the jester is no laughing matter. <laughs> No, you should stay in a crosset. That's right, good. Only hold the leg. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, girls. Get over here. One of my girls got injured and dropped out of a grand pass. So I had to pick another girl. And we've decided to choose between Nena and Irina. You show me what you got and then I'll make my choice. Okay? 
I want to prove to myself, to show my worth. If I don't get to Morocco, it'll really set me back. Not like that! I told you before the entrance of Kitri and Basil. Kostya! I got really... scared. Just look at him, sitting there, flapping his gums. Get ready. That's enough. Come here. Both of you, come here. You're closing your torso. You do something like this. Assume the attitude position. You have to be the one in view. Do you understand? Ira, you're kind of slouching. You're all slouching. No offense, Ira. I choose you. I'm so happy that Sergei chose me for the Moroccan tour. This will be a really great chance to prove myself. I think my performance was a bit better overall. It's finally time for the much-anticipated trip to Morocco. To be honest, I'm also nervous. I don't know how it's going to go, how the audience will receive us. I hope we do well and get invited to come again. It's important to all of us. Bye, everyone. I'll see you in Morocco. Ciao. I really wanted to go to Morocco because it's nice and warm and I've never been there. I'm absolutely stoked about this. It's going to be great. Well guys, we're finally in Morocco. The day has come, this is day one. We're on our way to class. There will also be some rehearsing, so we'll let you know what that'll consist of. Hopefully, if things go smoothly today and we do well, we'll have the time and energy to go explore a bit. Let's ask Nikolai what he thinks and what his first impression of the country is. Hey, Kolya, how do you like it here? It's okay. You should definitely go to the beach. It's really, really awesome. I think we'll have the time today, after class. We were planning to go shopping today. Where? Some boutiques, probably. Oh. Guys, let's go get some Moroccan tea. They always make it here. Guys, yeah. The orchestra is rehearsing today. Wow. Turns out today's schedule was completely wrong. We're gonna do a quick 45 minute class and then work with the orchestra. My first impression is that nothing is ready. And then, of course, we find out that we're having a rehearsal with the orchestra today, even though it wasn't on the schedule. All right, everyone, dress properly so you don't catch a cold. It's chilly. Let's get started. It was my first time in a theater in Morocco, so I was very surprised. It was really cold. It took me a long time to warm up and get into a comfortable spot where I could get things going. My feet are ice cold. My feet are freezing. I understand. We're all in the same boat. Charlie, everyone else is still working. Have a look around. I just hope I don't get sick. The theater is ice cold. It's just disrespectful for the ballet dancers and it's unacceptable. Cold is dangerous for the dancer because the muscles contract, joint lubricant starts getting thicker, and that increases the risk of injuries. It's very dangerous. My blanket. Galia, call Artyom and Katya, and let's start. I think I still have time. Artyom, let's get started. 
Let's take it easy today, everyone. Let's not have any injuries. You're trying to warm up, but you can't. And you have complex moves to perform, so you end up with overuse injuries. They're done. Can't work like this. I had to work hard with the conductor to get him to play it back somehow. To understand all the accents, when I raise it, when I lower it. But he was pretty much forgetting that we were standing in our ballet shoes, and as we stepped on the floor, the cold would go straight to our muscles. A little slower. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to explain to him that yes, it's possible, but not today. Let's turn up the heat first, and then we'll be more warm and comfortable. He has to understand that if we work like this, we'll get injured on the first day. All right, okay. I take it from the top, right? Just don't do the glissé. Naturally, we had to take things easy. Whenever he'd ask, jump to give me the cue. We were trying to let him know that we didn't want to do it. That we shouldn't do it. That it was very dangerous. <laughs> It's really bad when the performer and the conductor can't reach an understanding. That's when productions fail. All right, let's move on. Come on, take your places. Take your places. Who's absent? Who's missing? She's dancing in the back. Why? It's Lena. Didn't she practice in Moscow? She was late for the rehearsal. If Lena is not a stupid girl, she must understand that this Moroccan tour is very important to her. Because if she messes up somehow, she either won't ever go on tour again, or she won't be in this production anymore. Lena, what are you doing? Wandering around? Do the final piece again. I had very soft point shoes. Dancing in old soft point shoes is something I wouldn't wish upon anyone because all your muscles, from the knee to foot, start to hurt. I talked to my superiors. They placed an order, but the shoes didn't arrive in time. That's what I was told. The less talented, the more obnoxious. It made me feel so bad knowing that because of those old point shoes, I can't give my 110%. And because of that, management wasn't too happy with me. All right, let's have the gypsy dance. Yes. My name is Ira. In Morocco, I will be doing two parts in Don Quixote, the Gypsy Dance and the Dance of Mercedes. Previously, I only danced in the Corps de Ballet, and this is a solo part. I'm really nervous, because if I fail, I will forever stay in the Corps de Ballet and never get a chance to dance solo again. Ira Dovidovskaya has recently been showing very good results. This girl has a lot of character. She's very gifted, and I hope she has a bright future. If you mess up somewhere, the manager naturally notices that. And next time, you simply won't be there. Your place will go to a person who can do it cleaner and better than you. That's it. I didn't expect things to go down like that. And I was absolutely dumbfounded. This is going to change my life dramatically. And I mean dramatically. A film crew from the U Channel got exclusive access to see behind the scenes of a world-renowned Moscow ballet company. For the next three months, the dancers of Moscow's classical ballet theater, led by Natalia Kasatkina and Vladimir Vasiliev, will be preparing to sign a contract with one of the most prestigious international companies. Everyone, regardless of their experience, has a shot. It only takes becoming the best of the best. Russian Ballet Let's call it a day, all right? The day's over. Actually, the first day of rehearsals was absolutely pointless. Nothing was ready at all. I didn't notice any productive work on my part. None. Whatsoever.
I wanted to buy a pair of national shoes and a national costume. You can find anything at the market. Look at these point shoes. Galia, it's something. These are not point shoes. These are what's inside of them. These are point shoes. Former ballerinas in retirement. Yeah. We went to get shoes, but in the end, we were only buying and looking at the things that caught the eyes of our precious and beloved women. Where are my shoes? Shoes are on another street. One sec. They were stopping at every trinket, at every tchotchke. They just had to look at everything. You still don't have this one, Katya. You should buy it. She's gonna look at it later and say, it's the only one like it, but I don't like it. Of course, we're girls after all. They didn't care about actually buying anything. They were just partaking in the thrill of window shopping. But I was starting to get pretty annoyed. You need glasses? What for? I always wanted a pair like this. What for? Just looking. Nah, I'm good. Whatever. You just keep on rummaging. When you go shoe shopping, take me with you. I want some shoes too. So, when we finally got to the place I needed... Kolya, it's closed. It's one of those closed stores. I was really disappointed. Thank you so much. We'll come back tomorrow. Because they are open at different hours every day. Okay, sure. They'll definitely be open. I saw them last year. In the end, I didn't buy anything. I was upset. I was angry and disappointed. And so they spent the rest of the evening cheering me up. When in Rome. The manager of the theater called me and invited me out to lunch. He wants to talk to me, but I have no idea what about. It's kind of... an unusual meeting, so I guess we'll see. I did warn him that I'm coming with a film crew. He didn't seem to mind. I was intrigued, really intrigued. Thank you. It's my fourth time in Morocco, but I had no idea about this place. Never even drove past it. I came to this ship on the coast where we were supposed to meet. I was really intrigued. My name is Tris. Nice to meet you. I'm the head manager of the theater. Always great. Thank you. Please welcome. Thank you. I had a great first impression. We ordered some magnificent 10 year old red wine. Of course. As we, you say in Russia. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please. We want uh, to start, we want uh, to create a new uh, ballet in Morocco. So we are, we are interesting to sign you uh, a contract here to Morocco to stay in Morocco and to be the head manager of uh, our new ballet. When I learned the reason for our meeting and what we were going to talk about, I was completely dumbfounded. I wasn't ready for such a turn of events. The management of the theater offered me to leave the theater and become its artistic director. It's a great deal. And the money's good, too. It's something worth thinking about. Maybe I should indeed move to Morocco. For me, moving to another country is the biggest change I could possibly experience in my life. I'll have to make arrangements for my family to move with me. Plus, I won't be a ballet dancer anymore. Being an art director is a completely different thing. This is going to change my life dramatically, and I mean dramatically. Maybe I should stay here. It's a great offer. I'll think about it. I have a few more days. I had no clue where I was. There were so many people, I had no idea what was going on. Let's go, guys. We were lost. Yikes. If you're not careful, you can end up going to some really bad neighborhood.
rush on the ballet. All right. Which way is the ocean? The ocean's that way. Great. Seeing the ocean was my long time dream, but I wouldn't have dared going there on my own. A blonde in an Arab country? It's dangerous to go out alone. How many times have you been here, Chris? This is my second. And you like it? Yeah, of course I do. It's pretty awesome. This is my first time in Morocco, so I'm kind of wondering what the city is like, and I want to get a chance to see the ocean. Are they praying or something? Yeah, I guess. Isn't that something? So many people. Yeah. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. There were some prayer services going on, or something like that. I know the general direction. You need to remember the way. I thought it was this way, but we've been walking for a while. It turned out that Chris doesn't know or remember the city. I think he just wanted to show off, to indulge his ego. We should ask where the ocean is. Excuse me, Sir, sir. Where is the ocean? Oh, here. The ocean. Where is the ocean? Ocean. Ocean. What? They started explaining something in their language, and we couldn't understand them. They were pointing in random directions. We had no idea what they were saying, so we decided to follow Chris. Let's go, guys. <laughs> what was he saying? I didn't understand. Chris, where are we? I don't know. There's a map over there, we can check. Let's go check the map. It's one-way traffic here. Can we ever make it? Through the crowd? We can. One, two, three. We realized that we were lost. I was kind of panicking on the inside. Yikes. If you're not careful, you can end up going into some really bad neighborhoods. Where have you brought us? Chris took a wrong turn or something. He didn't know where he was. It's like he lost his sense of direction. And in the end, we were totally lost and came upon some sort of mausoleum or something. What's over there? Looks like a port. Right. I see boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, over there. See that building? Yes. Let's talk to the locals. Maybe we can get a boat tour or something. Yeah, let's do that. We saw a bunch of boats in the river, and it made me want to go sailing and see the view of the city from offshore. Can we get a ride? What? What? I wasn't too sure about getting on the same boat with this funny-looking guy. The way he was dressed was so weird. Guys, how about we not go there? The waves were growing bigger and bigger, and I got really scared. The boat was rocking harder and harder, but the guys wanted to keep going all the way out to the ocean. If the boat had capsized, I would have had to have saved both girls and Chris. If we climb to the top of the fortress, we'll have a much better view. Yeah, it's awesome. I've been up there. Because we couldn't go all the way to the ocean, we decided to look at it from sort of an observation deck. Those are some sweet wheels. What kind of car is that? Amazing, cool. <laughs> We're getting closer to the ocean. I'm not sure if this is the right way. Right, Chris, is this the right way? I can't believe we found it. Now this is what I call a nice view. 
This is awesome. Oh my god. Oh, this is beautiful. Just look at this. I can get used to this. Wow, amazing. Cool. This is... This is incredible. Look at that. Unbelievable. Fantastic view. So cool. I love it. You'll always remember this moment. Yeah, definitely. The ocean is a very special thing. It was unforgettable. The ocean was incredible. And the amazing energy I got at the beach made me want to do more performances. In any case, for the next three or four years, I won't be able to dance because I will have other responsibilities to take care of because I'll be in management. It's a huge loss for the theater. We've invested so much in him. What have you been doing with your time? If your performance wasn't so-so, the dancers who allow themselves to make mistakes over and over don't stay in the theater for very long. I want to thank everyone. Thank you so much. I love all of you. But... Are you leaving? Yes. I think this is my last performance here. What?